so that Jack 2 can have the uh, fun mode, and then they'll have the unfun mode, which is like, you know, for the regular, like, unfair difficulty thing. Okay, you, you're useless. You don't have a key thing. Oh, let's see. Oh yeah, there's one over here. Mabel! Mabel! Of course, Jack 3 doesn't really need much of a mode change thing, but you know. Oh, crap, this isn't the right one. No, oh, crap, bastards. Crap, bastards. <laughs> Um, but I'll tell you one thing that limited run games should do is is a uh, one thing uh, limited run games should do is um, uh, release some of those old Frogger games. You know what? I don't understand. How come? Um Chrono Trigger has not has only been re-released on like PS1 and DS. Oh. Who knows? Maybe they maybe they'll release it at some point. <laughs> Chrono Trigger. Yeah, Chrono. So you, you know since Tombo will be on Switch uh whenever it comes out. Uh, that means that it has a possibility of being in a potential future Smash game. He has the potential. Dad got it. What are we gonna wait on though? PlayStation All Stars Two. And some people, and some people's gonna point out. Well, technically, there was there was an iPhone game, or you know. Wait, an iPhone game of what? Some crappy PlayStation All Stars thing, like it was. It was like a, it was like a Pepsi thing. I, I, it's like Coke or Pepsi or something promoted it, but it didn't stay on the store too long. It was like a mini game collection featuring some of the PlayStation All Stars characters. Which you know, I mean, there are people that I that really like the game, and then there are people who think, you know. Yeah, this game wasn't as good, but it had more potential, and we would like to see a sequel to fix all the problems. And Sony's just be like, nah. Pug. But yeah, so... Um... You'll never be alone again When I leave you I leave you more than bone But like But like uh, whenever um So here, here's the th here was the Here's one of the main problems with PlayStation All-Stars Is that Well, okay It was a unique idea to have it to where you use your, your All-Star moves to defeat the other opponents but they should have had another option to kill the opponents like that should have just been a faster way to kill them that shouldn't have been the way to kill them um but anyway uh but like so like y y you also have um well, one of the other problems was that, like, it didn't really feel like they were going for the nostalgia as much. It didn't feel like they actually cared about the legacy. They just wanted to promote new stuff. I like how I was, like, right in front of that guard and he didn't see me because I wasn't in the light. Um. But anyway. Yeah, it felt like, it felt like PlayStation All-Stars was more about... It was only somewhat about nostalgia, because they also had stuff like uh, Parappa the Rapper and, and like uh, Sir Daniel and stuff like that. But for like, okay, so you had instead of having 
instead of having uh, like the uh, Dante we all know from Devil May Cry, we had newer Dante from DMC Devil May Cry because they were promoting the new game. Um, and uh, when they had uh, Big Daddy, they did have the old design, but they didn't have but they they didn't have the play like they didn't have uh, uh was a rapture they had uh what's it called from uh uh Bioshock infinite so so uh and then i mean know, i really did like bioshock infinite though it was good don't get me wrong i'm just saying that like you could tell they had that because they were more so focused on promoting the new games than they were you know about like showing off the legacy of playstation Now, is the new, um, Metal Gear Solid release, Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid Delta. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Delta? Oh, hold on. Metal Gear Solid, uh, Delta Snake Eater or something like that. I like to call it Metal Gear Triangle. Wait, Metal Gear Solid Master Collection, that's what it's called. Oh, that too. Yeah, they are releasing that too. I hope that means... What, what, what is that? It has, like, the... It has a lot of the, the older ones on it. As well as, like, the 3D ones, you know. Like, it has one, one, two, and three, plus, like, uh, some of the older ones. By the way, it's your turn. Hang on, let me verify my birthday. Let me mention my 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 birthday. Birthday. Metal Metal Gear Triangle. You know, apparently it's a, uh, or, or, uh, before I get into that, remember, Andrew, uh, remember what Sonic Adventure 2 is, it's perfect autism. That is so X Games. <laughs> that was X Games. <laughs> when we were on a hike with that trip I was on, some of the, uh, was messing with a couple of the students like as a like we were doing parkour where you like just yeah, do a small you can jump. Go through the bridge now. Where you just do a small jump and it's parkour. Yeah. Um he said do a mission with Murray. Yeah. Uh so then I was like stop, I was like fine. And then I did something like that was X that was so yeah. X games. Yeah. <laughs> that was X Dang, Games. I didn't realize he was selectable yet. Go, okay. Go back okay. to Murray. Bentley. Anyway, so um, I had originally went to go to the computer, and I didn't realize he was finally selectable. Yeah. So in my mind, I was like, "Dude, boot, go straight to the computer." Nope. That was uh, that was Bentley. 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 Uh, but anyway, so um, yeah. Anyway, so so anyway, yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> I just think that, like, if they make a sequel to PlayStation All-Stars, they really need to focus on the legacy and not just what's upcoming. They can focus a little bit on what's upcoming, but not that much. They need to focus way more on the legacy, which they have plenty of. PlayStation's All-Stars legacy. All right, let's have, like, Knack and freaking... <laughs> Knack and, uh, let's see... Um, wait, let's see, I'm trying to think of what the equivalent of having, for what the PlayStation equivalent of having a bunch of Fire Emblem characters in it would be, you know, um, Nat characters or like just Uncharted characters or something. Yeah. <laughs> so like... Obviously, if they make a new one, they're gonna have—they're probably gonna have like bearded Kratos instead of uh, 
old Greek, yeah, old Greek Kratos. They just have old Kratos. <laughs> Half the characters are just variations of Kratos. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's where you have to shoot that. No, oh, dang it! I hate this movie. I had a potato gun once. I better work just the same. Look. <laughs> Anyway. Isn't it half inverted? I can't remember, but it's one of those things where it gets heated and you have to wait a little bit if you, you know, but you have to rapidly press. What's the point in this part? So you can, like, activate the thing, apparently. See, like it gets heated at the bottom. I hate that kind of stuff. I get that it's quote unquote more realistic, but still, that's really that's yeah. I shouldn't have to do that. I'm using a freaking hippo. Yeah. Like that's that's one like, thing. The same hippo that's gonna be killed by a king by the king of geek. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> we went to this game store and this guy was like in. Just straight up insulting Kingdom Hearts. And like, he was saying, I'm gonna use this some pound key, so much pound key to kill this hippo or something like that. But see, like, like I hate when games are just randomly quote unquote realistic in the wrong areas. Like, that, this is like a false way of making it more difficult. A false, uh, you know. Entertaining, what, uh, whatever the word is. It's just not a good way to make it, uh, you know, quote unquote challenging. It's just annoying. Like, I get it. It would probably be, I mean, I get that it would probably be too easy had they had it to where, um, you could just constantly shoot. But, I mean, I, I honestly, I'd rather take that over this garbage, uh, oh, it overheats thing. Well, I guess also it overheats too fast, is another thing. And see, you're having to waste your time with all these missiles and stuff. You gotta let it cool off. Which, it doesn't take that long to cool off, but it doesn't take that long to heat up, either. Um... I think it's one later in the game. It's really annoying. Yeah. So. Anyway, so uh, let's see. What was I saying? Uh, oh yeah. So apparently earlier, what I was gonna say was, so apparently it's the reason a lot of kids like y you do notice that there's quite a handful of of uh, fans of Sonic that are autistic. <clears throat> and uh, apparently the reason for that is because um supposedly the reason okay that's why I couldn't anyway um <laughs> the reason for that is apparently just because of the way it's designed like the games are designed where it has simplistic you know it just has a more simplistic design to it to where um you know, like, uh, kids with, with, uh, or, mo you know, mostly kids or people with autism can, like, handle it more, because they, because we can get pretty, we can get pretty overstimulated, pretty, or a lot, pretty, much, uh, a lot quicker than other people, and, you know, if something's too much, like, I imagine this is partially why I don't like to play a lot of RPGs, is because they have so many mechan or, well, so many things to memorize, so many mechanics or you know some of these games that just have too many moves to remember plays you know things to remember and, and like do all this stuff um and and like that's probably part of the reason was just like this i'm not saying there's no obviously there's people with autism that like rpgs and stuff but like the ones that just get overly complicated about things uh it, it's just overwhelming 
And Sonic is one of those series that just... Yeah, you got the heroes and all that stuff. You got all this, you know, and, um, but the gameplay, like, you don't have to memorize a ton of moves. You don't have to memorize a ton of things. You just go. You just go fast. Um, which I imagine there's probably a lot of autistic kids that like Mario, too, for some of the same reasons. Um... But apparently that's part of why you see a lot of, like, uh, Sonic fans have it, you know, with autism. It's just, like, it's just because... I also looked it up, and apparently it's it's a very autistic thing to, like, trains. And when I was a kid, I was obsessed with trains, so, I mean... <laughs> that makes sense. What was that picture I found? <laughs> What the heck? You gotta send that to me. That was made from Mega Man Battle Network 1. <laughs> you notice how that's house on the poster there on the right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. What is it? Spartacus? But anyway, um... So... What was I gonna say? Uh... <sighs> so... Words... What? Mm -hmm. I'll check that later. Um, after we get done. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I really like trains as a kid, and apparently, it's a, it's actually a pretty common thing for autistic kids to like trains. It apparently has to do with something about like them being on a, like simple, you know, like a safe ride because they're, they're just on rails there, you know. The, something about them is is appealing to um, people with autism. I mean, I'm not obsessed with trains now, but I mean, I mean they're still interesting. I'm just sent to me. I'm just saying that like it's it. The fact that I like that I was obsessed with them when I was a kid was was not very uncommon. You've heard it here, folks. If you like trains, you're a spurg. <laughs> Now, some people think that uh, ADHD and autism are, like, on the same thing. No, ADHD they're not. is different. A AG okay, so apparently they're on a similar scale, but they're not the same. Like, it, some people think, like, if you have ADHD, you have autism, and that's not the case. It's it said, like, they're on a very similar scale, or they're on something that's, like, the same, but it's not but it's not the same thing. So don't don't get that confused. I'm confused because I have ADHD. Well, I have ADD, which apparently they decided doesn't exist anymore, so technically I guess I have ADHD. I don't know what HDs are, but the doctor said I got 88 of them. Oh, you have 88 high definitions. It do be that way sometimes. <sighs> But, uh, yeah. And, like, there, there's, uh, apparently it's an autistic thing to, like, car rides, which really I'm not, I've never been, like, highly anxious of car rides, but I've never been, like, a big fan of them either. So, I mean, I don't know, I mean, obviously, that, that's just because it says it's, like, common for them doesn't mean that, like, everyone, you know... Like, I mean, like, not everyone who's a Sonic fan like, has autism, and not everyone who has autism like Sonic. I've noticed, though, that there's a lot of autistic people that like anime. Are the Japanese autistic? <laughs> yeah. I think, so. from what I've read... What? 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 Wow, ah. Can I kill you first? Okay. You can't kill me, I quit. Don't beat yourself up, man. At a party this receipt, there has to be a spare penguin suit around here somewhere. Penguin, I like how they're called penguin suits. Penguin suits. 
Uh, penguins. Penguins. Uh, but anyway, so I looked it up, and apparently it's it's because like a lot of people with autism just find it more appealing to see like the hero, and they, you know, it's in a lot of anime they give out a lot of like what they're gonna do, or, or the motivation's pretty clear. Right. Um, and apparently that's that's a big, and, and there's a lot of people with autism that that like. Like more of the predictability, uh -huh. um, which I don't like things totally predictable. But I, it is easier for me to like you know if I know what's gonna happen and you know. You know, there's an episode of uh, Mucho Lucho which I could find. That's to do with autism. The episode with <laughs> where the guy's mind talks for the first time. Oh yeah. They find out he has a really good speaking voice. And one of the characters you see later in the episode has an album. And I don't remember what the name of the character was, but it says whatever it was, reads the phone book. <laughs> um. Well, anyway, uh. So. <sighs> words. Um. But yeah, so, so that's why I've noticed, like, a lot of, like, autistic kids really like anime, Sonic, and stuff like that. I didn't know about the trains, though. I didn't know that it's was because Sonic's gotta go fast. Gotta go fiest. Fiest. Well, fun also, Sonic is fundamentally Japanese. As much as they were trying to appeal to uh, American audiences, there's a lot about it that's fundamentally Japanese. Alright, so I'm trying to figure out this picture right here. Uh, what is that? And... I don't know, it's like a weird Bionicle head. Yeah. Well, Bionicles right, were coming out around, or was, you know, kind of big around this time. It's smart. Now there's a bunch of these pictures. Huh. <sighs> see here. So at some point, at this point in time, I have a new, I may or may not have a new channel, which I definitely do have a new channel, because I like to make new channels they are free to make, so I just make way too many of them. Uh, <laughs> you do have to put up with the headache of uh, having um, more, like, like, like you have to, you have the headache of having to make an all new email and all that stuff, or in my case, Gmail. Um, but I uh, have a new channel coming out where it has to do with gaming content, but not like, not like this, and not quite like, um, just some gameplay either. It's it's gonna be like basically what I would have on a, my normal channel. I would have. On this gaming channel, anything to do that was exclusively about gaming. So that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop talking about games, and that's why Andrew, and that's why Andrew decided that he likes soap up the butt. I gotta keep it clean. <laughs> So I'm gonna switch this over to. It's in here. What? What the heck is in this bag? It's uh. It looks Zelda related. Oh yeah, it's a shirt for Corey that I got for him. Okay. That I that he paid money for him and I gave him my fifteen dollar off gay. thing. Uh, Clothes are just skin prisons. <laughs> See, whenever these prisoners will say, don't, whenever these people say, don't drop the soap, Andrew says, do drop the soap. Um, he says that he purposely drops the soap. And 
put on oh. So anyway, uh, this cord was in, was like underneath my dog's um, thing. Anyway, um, checking something out there. Shirt, 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 shirts, suits. That's Dad's Jeff. He's gonna be mad. It's like how you just do this. What? I just ride around that little or you go on the barrel. Except they're more destructible now. Well, they are destructible, yeah. No. 